Ron here from Out and About Outdoors. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to today's episode uh, of Out and About Outdoors with Ron and Friends. We're uh, taking in the uh, PA Youth uh, Mentored Fishing Program. Uh, I was uh, able to uh, participate this year again, thanks to my friend Kelly Melton and his two sons, Dimitri, who's right here, and Dallas. Go. We uh, had a great time. Happy I'd fishermen. I'd like to thank them a whole lot for letting me uh, participate with them. You want to catch one? Uh, come on along and, and let's check out the fishing. Here, well, I had it out. As you can see here, we started out the day using a floating bobber setup. Uh, we had the bobber set about three feet above right a height, small, maybe 16th ounce uh, weight, and uh, we're using a size 12 hook. And up that size 12 hook, we have a red worm. This uh, proved to be quite effective, as you see. Uh, Dimitri uh, caught quite a, is catching quite a few fish here on that. <laughs> Yeah, slaying them fish. All right, Dimitri. Okay. I took notice after we fished here in this area for a while that there didn't seem to be a lot of participation taking place. I believe that uh, a lot of the reason behind participation not taking place is the difficulty people have in finding the locations the Pennsylvania Fish and Game Commission have for use in during the... Uh, the Mentored Youth Program. When we first got there, we were fishing a good, oh, I would say 300 yards east of this area. And though we were fishing there and we had caught fish there last year, the Fish and Game Commission, or the Fish and Boat Commission, did not have any trout stock there this year. And we were pretty much wasting our time. It wasn't until we came over and noticed the signs that were posted that we realized where we should have been fishing. Once we did that, the fishing was great, and we had an excellent time. So I would encourage people that if they're going to participate in the programs, to uh, to try to fish around where the signs are posted. Better a chance of catching fish. And while uh, we were fishing there, uh, you know, changing baits and stuff, uh, the red uh, wiggler really was a, a, a good option. We used other baits. We uh, used uh, spinners, inline spinners, rooster tails. I got some of them from... Uh, uh, a gentleman in Tennessee, uh, Tennessee uh, Deer Stalker Outdoors, had won a, a uh, giveaway of his, and those were some of the baits we used. But uh, we also used other things besides that. There were also people there that were fishing. They were using power bait. That seemed to be a good option. Uh, but really, I mean, under a float with a, uh, you know, a natural bait like a red wiggler or a small piece of, uh, of a, a small... Uh, baby nightcrawler, or even I think I tried uh, uh, mealworms. They all seem to work pretty good. So if if you're going to go out there and you're going to use a, a bait, you know, you may want to try those options, you know, rather than just using a uh, uh, power bait, something else to try. All right, in this clip, if you look down to the right, uh, lower right here, you'll see the bobber. You can, uh, when, when you're watching the bobber, I mean, any any reason that bobber moves other uh, other than just a straight float, you really want to check it. It's really, the fly fisherman no. uses a small float <laughs> to detect bites, and, and even, even float fishermen, you know, basically the float's the same thing. You're using that to detect a bite, and here the, the fish takes that, and as soon as he does, I know he's there, fishing. and I can set the hook. And uh, it's really a great option for beginning fishing. Travel. And we also had some success using uh, small uh, Rebel uh, square bill style baits. And we used uh, spinners to some pretty good success too. So you might want to try those when you're out there. Trying yeah, to and uh, you know, don't forget, uh, the whole reason they have the youth mentored uh, program is really to, to teach young kids how to fish. Don't forget that, guys. Take a kid fishing. Uh, it's a great experience. Uh, out and about outdoors, I'd like to thank you all. Take care.